Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru app for Android, iPhone, iPad devices. This one talking about short game, chipping and practice and pitching ideas. Let's get stuck in. Okay, we've got a message here from Steve from the Ask Golf Guru app. Sup? Cool man, down with the young bruds. I think that's meant to kind of say, what's up? <laughs> Stephen here, loving the videos. I work at a great links pitch and putt in Ireland and have a lot of time to spare. Have you any good chipping or short game drills, games I could do the past time? Thanks, Stephen. Well, Steve, thanks, Steve. Um, cool little job you got there. What I do, so I've got a wedge here, what I do when I'm practicing my short game, and I've said this a lot before, I make it very, very realistic. So I practice across the different lofts I've got. I just happen to have my wedge in my hand here, but I would practice across my 52, 56 and 60. I will definitely work out some patterns. So do I hit a target more from 100 yards with my 52? which is kind of a foolish 52, or do I hit the target more with my one two, one wedge when I take, go down a handle and take some off it? That's the question I asked. Now, it was that I hit target more with my 52. That was naturally why I hit target more, but I didn't like the fact I couldn't hit my little wedge. So I got on the practice range, got a target out there at the 100 yard mark and practiced hitting 100 yard wedges. So changed where I hold on the club, so how far up or down, maybe my stance, kind of length of swings. I really worked out how to find a distance with this one. And when I found the distance, I actually worked out that I could actually hit the wedge a little bit closer than the 52 with the controlled shot. So it's going out there and finding those patterns, set some different distances. Uh, you'll find that your wedges, if you've got two or three, will go same distances if you hit one hard or one soft. And work out what makes you hit that target better. Is it better when you're hitting a hard one, when you're hitting a free quarter, when you're hitting a soft one? That's a great drill to do to start you off. And that's, that's the, the main one I would do, really. The other thing you could do is really home in your distances. So what kind of length swing do I need to make from 50 yards with X club, from 70 yards with X club, and so on and so forth. So if you've got that amount of time to do that, maybe laser a distance, play that hole at that distance using different clubs and work out what kind of length swings to get that distance so you can take that to the course and really get scoring low is a great way of doing it. The other thing you could do as well is always take the wrong club out. So play a couple of holes always with the wrong club and funk it up, learn how to open the face up, cut across it, add loft, take loft off. All those creative games that you play will really put you in good, st good stead when you play out there because there'll be times where you need to hit a low, not so runny 60 degree. It just makes sense to play that from the lie compared to like a seven iron run or something. So it's about playing those kind of games and finding out those yardages is what's really gonna get you hitting those distances, hitting those scores lower and uh, hopefully making a few birdies. If you've got that time, from 100 yards in, you should be absolutely knowing, even if you can't perform it, you should know where your highest relationships of hits are. Loft, length of swing, to hit my 60 hard or whatever, or my 52 really soft, or all those kind of things. Hope that helps. Good luck practicing. Let me know how you get on. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.